All right, good morning, everybody. As you can see outside, the sun is just starting to come up. My family is still asleep, but today is the first day of homeschooling. So I don't wanna be late. I don't wanna be that teacher. So I'm getting this done early, so you can do it whenever you want throughout the day. And today's Total Body Boot Camp. Monday's always gonna be Total Body Boot Camp. So it's a four minutes per muscle group. Um, you've got four exercises for legs, chest, back, triceps, biceps, and shoulders. Uh, and core at the end if we have time. So what I'm using today, I'm gonna use a bench. Again, if you'd rather have a BOSU, flat floor, totally fine. Certain exercises you can use, your stairs in your home, that sort of a thing. Um, I've got a couple sets of hand weights here. Um, tubing band with the handles, um, as well as a couple balls. So I have an orb ball. This is actually used for massage. You can roll on it, roll out your hips, your legs, that sort of a thing. Um, I was hoping to find my Pilates more pliable ball, but I couldn't find it. So this is gonna work today. Um, but then I also brought out a four pound medicine ball. Um, I'm gonna do, use this for a couple exercises as well. So whatever you have, even if you have your dog's tennis ball, um, that's gonna work. So let's get started. We're gonna start with a warm up this morning. Make sure you are awake and ready to go. I'm like my little guy there, he's really drowsy. Um, that's my Rufus. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't want to wake them up. And for those of you that were watching yesterday, did the 10 minutes core yesterday, I actually did do a 30 minute cycling class, but it got blocked immediately off of YouTube because of the use of music. These are compiled playlists um, designated for aerobics classes, so they have a licensure to them. Um, but I can't use just playing music, so I'm working on a way to get you a cycling class and not get blocked. All right, here we go, folks. Take a deep breath up. Exhale down. March it out, right foot leaves. Four more. Three. Two. Step touch to the right. Here we go. Step touch. Four. Three. Two. Hamstring pull. Pull it up. Four. Three. Two. Knees up front. Here we go. Pull it up. Four. Three. Two, step touch to the right again. Arms come up. Four, three, two, tap those toes out wide. Press. Four, three, two, reach those arms across the body. Four, three, two, reach those arms up high. Oh. March it out. Now I'm close to my step. If you're close to a platform, tap those toes on top. Four, three, two, step it up, right basic. Four, three, two, one. Take it up top, march it out. Touch. 
Arms come high, opening up through the chest and back. Four more. Three, two, tap those toes out wide. Here we go, tap it out. Four, three, two, reach those arms across the body. Four, three, two, reach up high. Here we go. Four, three, two, back to that platform, marching out. I'm gonna tap those toes on top. In four, three, two, tap them up. Here we go. Tap. Four, three, two, left facing. Take it up. Try to get your entire foot on the bench here. Now's not a good time to fall off the stair and go to the ER. Two more. Up top, march it out on top. Here we go, reach. Four more. Three, two, to the floor, march it out. Here we go. All right, folks, take a deep breath up. Exhale down. Shake it all out. Go ahead, have a sip of water if you need it. Starting with legs, we've got four minutes coming up. First exercise, alternating between a lunge and a curtsy lunge. Reverse lunge to curtsy lunge. I'm gonna move my bench off to the side here so you can see what my legs are doing. So with hand weights in hand, shoulders are down to the side. We're gonna lunge back. Foot's gonna come in, just tapping that toe or you can lift at the knee. And then we've got a curtsy, so you're crossing that leg behind you. Then we switch, straight back, curtsy. Alternating side to side. Grab your weights, get ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Lunge back, curtsy lunge. Opposite side, lunge back, curtsy lunge. Choose whatever weight works best for you. I always tell my class I don't go all out when I'm teaching because the focus is on you, not me. Well, because you're not here in my living room with me. I do a little bit heavier. But it is 6.30 a.m. So I'm not going all out either. Make sure as you lunge back, you can see those front toes. If I can see it right, we're right at a minute. Nice work. Go ahead and set those weights down. Let's grab that band. Second exercise. There's not near enough light there. It's so dark. Go ahead and stand on that band. Resistance levels, down at your side, at your hips, at your shoulders. Depends on the resistance of your band. Are you ready? Alternating leg lifts, right, left. Here we go, lift up. Lift up, nice and slow to start. Lift, lift, building up to pace. Up, up. Eight, seven, Six, five, four. We're gonna move into a glute squeeze here. Two more. Alternate back, here we go. Squeeze, squeeze. 30 more seconds, four, three, two. Out to the side, lateral lift, up, up. You should be feeling this. Four more. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. 
alternate back, glute squeeze, lift, 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 lift. We're in the end, here we go. Three, two, one, and done. Nice work, set that band down. Shake those hips out a little bit. Next exercise, over the top squats. So I'm gonna move this bench back to center. All right, we're gonna start on one side of the bench. We're gonna squat down for four. Take it over the top, squat down for four. That will be reduced down to two and eventually one in our one minute. Here we go. Three, two, one, four squats. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Take it over. One, take it over. Three, two, one. I thought I woke my voice up. I just have no sign of them yet. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. All right, this is the last round of pose. Reduce down to two. Here we go. Two, two. Nice work. With 10 seconds to go, we'll single it out. It's nice and quick, heart rates will come up. Here we go. Three, two, one and done. Nice work. Fourth and final exercise. All right, this is what I'm gonna use. It's a very lightweight massage ball. Place it in between my knees. Feet about hip width apart, squeezing in with his knees, come down into a squat. Again, if you have more of a pliable Pilates ball, works a little bit better. Here we go. You're holding that squat, but you've got tiny little movements with those inner thighs. When we were using the band, we were working the outside. Now we're working the inside. So you're just holding that squat, Isometric contraction, waist down, but now you've got a tiny little pulse engaging that inner thigh. Squeeze. You're 30 seconds in, you've got 30 to go. As you're squeezing that, you should be feeling that contraction all the way up through those glutes. You're welcome. Good morning. Hang in there. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. Release that down. Let's give it a stretch. Nice work, folks. Heel down, toe up, hinge forward. Just gonna reach those hamstrings back of the leg. Stay inside, pull that leg up behind. Heel towards the glute, flexing that foot, drive that knee straight down. Hopefully you've warmed up a little bit. I know when you work out in a gym, you go into a room and it's air conditioned to a certain amount that when you walk in, you're chilled. When you walk out, you feel amazing. In your house, you probably have the heat on because it's still getting down to freezing at night. So you're probably warming up quicker. Be aware of that, drink lots of water. Come on up, heel the glute, flex that foot. Drive that knee straight down, nice and tall, look through the chest. And release. All right, second muscle group, folks, we're working on the chest, those pecs. We're gonna start with bench press. So remember, if you've got a dome today, you can be in bridge position. That's where you sit on the floor, lean into your dome, and lift those hips up. You can do that on the bench as well. Obviously, I'm showing it right here. Or you can be flat on the ground or flat on that bench, okay? If you're flat down here, you still can drop those elbows below so those weights are coming down and press up. 
You can bring those legs up to 90. Extend those legs up, angle them out, wherever you want to be. I'm actually going to go sideways, I think, in bridge position so you can see my form. So grab those legs. We've got one minute. Get ready. Get set. Let's go. Squeezing those glutes, lift those hips. Again, if you're flat on the ground, flat on the bench, you're gonna go ahead and lift those legs up for a little bit added resistance, if you will. Kicks in the core a little bit more, makes more muscle groups work at once. The one challenge with bench press for an instructor is we can't see the clock. <laughs> I need to get a big stopwatch. A big one mounted to the wall, so I can keep an eye on it. I'm gonna go four more reps and I'll check the time. You keep moving for me. Two, keep going. Oh, we're so close. Three, two, one. I was only three seconds off, not bad. Relax that down, come on up. We've got a fly. Grab that band again. Take the band behind your back, underneath your arms. That's the safety feature here, underneath your arms. On top, it can slip. We're not looking to create a noose. It's day one of homeschooling. We'll talk later. All right, so as you might notice with your band, as you extend those arms up, there's not much resistance. So I want you to grab a little bit closer towards the armpits. Nice, solid stance, slight bend in those knees. Bring that band out now, you've got it tight. Here we go, take it out, squeeze it in. Take it out, squeeze it in. Each time you build a contraction or work on the hard part of the motion, that's when you exhale. Inhale to release. Squeeze, release. Exhale, inhale. This allows you to get the most oxygen to those muscle fibers so they can work the hardest. Here we go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four more. Three, Two, hold that band to the center, push, push, push. Tiny little pushes, pulse towards the front, here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Take those arms a little bit wider, keep pulsing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more time, a little bit wider. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, fly it in. Here we go. Four more. That's it. Three, two, one, and done. Nice work. Set that band down. All right, push ups. This time I want your hands elevated. So whether it's on the coffee table, the stairs, the bench, I've got my bay window here. We're going to keep those arms up higher, legs down low. This gives you a little bit of an advantage, so you might not have to drop to your knees. So let's give it a shot. Look, now I can see my watch. It's gonna be close. Pop those legs back. Here we go. Now you can still drop down to those knees if you need to. Just keep those hips tucked under. That allows me to get a little bit deeper into the motion. But I'm going to challenge myself today. So I'm going to see how many I can do on my toes. Lower and lift. Exhale, inhale. You've got about 20 seconds left, folks. Hang in there. Ten seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Shake 
those arms out. So you did not have to go that fast. If you found yourself doing maybe one for every two of mine, totally fine. Take it at your pace, folks. All right. Uh -huh. This is where I really bring in the medicine ball. So we're gonna sit at a V sit. So remember when you're in V sit, the chest is angled back and legs are up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this one, with my medicine ball, four pounds, I'm gonna lean back in the V sit and I'm gonna toss it. Okay, if you do not have a weighted ball, you can do a twist with it. Whatever you like. Feet up, lift through the chest. Let's go. With some sort of movement in the upper body, you should feel that muscle contract. So each time I catch this weighted ball, my muscles are contracting right in that core. But because it's a weighted ball, I'm also working the chest as I catch the ball. Lot of core, chest, shoulders, depending on what you're doing, you might be getting obliques. If you're going side to side, absolutely fine. We've got about 15 seconds left. Lift through that chest, hold strong. Three, two, one. Nice work. Come on up. Let's give a stretch. My cute. I don't know if you can see my cat. That's my little Ruthie. Love him. Open up through those arms. If your flexibility allows it, you can interlock those fingers behind your back and lift. Grab a sip of water if you got it. If not, hit pause and go get it. All right, third muscle group. Back. Work in the back. We're gonna start with reverse fly. So we'll be hinged over with a set of hand weights. Nice flat back. Opening up in between those shoulder blades. We're gonna fly out to the side. So as we were up, we were working the chest. Same motion hinged over. We're squeezing those shoulder blades together. Work in the back. Get ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. Try to keep that motion nice and slow on the way down. Don't let them drop. Make that muscle contract the entire motion. Slight bend in those knees. The more bent over you are, the more you're gonna work that back. If you're more upright, you're working those shoulders. We got four minutes of that coming up. Hinge forward, work that back. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Nice work. Set those bands, sorry, set those weights down. We have an upright row. Upright row with that band. Standing on the band with one or two feet. One makes it slightly easier. Two feet, a little bit more challenging. Go ahead and cross that band to form an X. Overhand grip on the handles as we do an upright row. Hands stay close to the body. Elbows are higher than wrists at the top. Then we lower down, up for two. Here we go, take it up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Exhale, inhale. Up, up, down, down. We're gonna single it out. Here we go. Take it up. Up. We're gonna alternate 
right and left. Give me four more of these. Three, two, right and left. Here we go, one arm. Take it right, down, left, down. Four more. Three, two, back to the beginning, up for two. Take it up, up, down, down. Hands close to the body. Elbows higher than wrists. Two more. Last one. Singles. Let's see, we got four more. That's it. Three, two, one, and done. Nice work. Set that down. Let's see. Super Mary Fly. All right, let's go to hands and knees for this one. If you're on your dome, perfect. You get a little bit extra work. Either on the bench or on the floor, it's gonna be slightly easier, except on those knees. So you might wanna add a blanket, a towel, something like that, so your knees stay nice and safe. Take one leg back behind you, nice and tall. Reach the opposite arm forward. And I chose to come up on the bench so that my toes weren't relaxing on the floor. That gives you an extra point of contact makes it a little bit more stable. So by having those toes up off the floor, you can see it makes you a little bit wobbly. Makes that core kick in. Let's switch sides. Nice, switch sides again. We're just gonna do three on each side. We're holding, no serious amount of time here. Release, switch. We're working those elongated muscles up and down your spine. They help with posture. Our posture's not very good during quarantine, I'm betting. The stay at home order does not say practice good posture. It should, but it doesn't. You're most likely in front of your computers, your phones a little bit more. I actually had a report that said I was on my or had 45% increased screen time last week. Not going for that this week. Gonna work out more, less on the screen. All right, come on up, nice work. All right, we've got a one-armed row for our final exercise. I'm gonna be elevated up on the bench. You can do this on the floor. You can simply hinge over. It's a one-armed row. I'm bring my clock down here so I can see. All right, here we go, lift. Now as I lower that arm down, notice I'm not lowering it all the way down to relaxation, okay? I'm keeping that muscle contracted throughout the entire range of motion. Again, you can do this on the coffee table. Three, two, one, switch sides. Here we go. You can simply stand up, hinge forward. Make this yours. Whatever you've got around you, no excuses, make it work. If you need help trying to figure out, say, Trish, I don't have any of the toys that you have. How can I join in? Just comment below. I'll get a hold of you. We'll figure it out. Three, two, one. Nice work. All right, let's stretch out that back. Take a deep breath up. Exhale as you lean your body towards the right. Nice and big breath in, nice and tall. Exhale, lean left. Nice and tall, exhale those arms down, roll those shoulders back. Three major muscle groups complete. We've done legs, chest, back. We're gonna move in now to the triceps, smaller muscle groups. First exercise, we've got a kickback. Kickback. So big thing on kickback, you're gonna start your motion right here at the hips, elbows pressed towards the area behind you, 
you're going to extend up the elbow and bring it right back into the hips. The biggest thing that folks do is come all the way up to the shoulders. That's called momentum. Give me a 50 pound plate, I can do it. We're working on strength today. Hands right at the hips, elbows press back. Here we go, press, press. Yes. I was like, I only listed three for triceps, but I've got one minute of an overhead press on the right side, one minute of an overhead press on the left side, but that band coming up. Exhale, inhale, press, press. So you can see I've got a slight bit in my knees, my core is tight. I have a loose shirt on once again, kind of passage of wearing tight things. Press. Here's eight, seven, you should start to feel this, that smaller range of motion, but really focused in on that tricep makes it burn. Three, two, one, and done. All right, grab that band. So you remember I said one minute on each side, place the left handle on the floor, right handle on the right hand, step on that band with that right foot, to make this harder, step closer to the handle on your hand. To make it easier, step closer to the handle on the floor. Swing that left leg through. I'm gonna bring this up here, I can't see it. Take that band behind your back, elbow forward and press. Press. You can hold that elbow in place like I'm doing here. Otherwise, you're gonna notice it starts to go out to the side. That involves that shoulder a little bit more. We wanna work on that tricep. So we've got one full minute here on the right side. So we're gonna change that pace along the way. Give it a little variety. Two, hold it up, top slight bend in the elbow. Contraction, let's pulse. Take it up, up, up. Tiny motion, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three single counts. Here we go. Take it up. Up. It's that second round where it kicks in and you feel it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Switch it over. Same thing on the left side. Stepping on that band with that left foot. Swing that right leg through. Take it back behind. Here we go. Take it up. Up. Now if you're wearing one of those cute little tops and that band is rubbing on your back, the other alternative is that you can hold that band out away from your back. What you don't want to do is hold on to it and assist yourself. So you can hold by with a flat hand to guide that band away from your back but you've got to make sure that elbow stays straight forward as much as you can. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Three, two, hold it halfway for me. Contract, slight, bend tiny pulses. Up, 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 up. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, single counts. Here we go, up, up. Almost there. Three, two, one. Nice work. Relax that arm down. Shake it out. There's three minutes in. We've got one to go here. All right, let's grab the ball. You're going to place that ball in between your knees. We are going to be doing dips. So it's better if you're elevated on something. Bay window, coffee table, stair in your house, bench, boosu, doesn't matter. You can do it flat on the floor, but your range of motion is smaller. So we're looking for a little bit bigger here. The ball is simply going to keep those hips in alignment. Again, you can squeeze for an added benefit. All right, here we go. Release those hips from whatever your surface is. Let's go. Bend down, press up, down, press up. The 
sun's coming up, folks. It's gonna be a gorgeous day out there. I hope you have a chance to get outside, get some fresh air. Lower and lift, lower and lift. All right, you've got about 25 seconds to go. Let's pick up that pace. Here we go, lower lift. Press it, come on, hang in there. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two, one. Nice work. Release that ball, have a seat. Let's give those triceps a stretch. Reach one arm back. And release, switch sides. All right, biceps and shoulders. We have two major muscle groups coming up and that's in it. We've got this. Remember, we'll add in a little bit of core, otherwise you can always go do one of those eight or 10 minute core sessions that I've already got uploaded on my YouTube page. All right, let's see what biceps has in for us today. Curl to angle curl. So regular curl, you're gonna grab a set of hand weights, come straight up, elbows in, slight bend in those knees. Alternate with an angle out 45 degrees from core. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Curl, all the way down. Exhale up, angle out. Nice work, folks. Alternating, nice and controlled pace, up and down. Try not to let those hand weights just drop. Fifteen seconds to go. Nice work, folks. Three, two, one. Beautiful work. Set those weights down. Grab that band. We have a cross curl. This is where you take one arm, bring it up to the opposite shoulder, then alternate. I call this the gun show, because it shows off those guns. Standing on that band one or two feet. One makes it slightly easier, two a tad bit more challenging. Let's go, curl up, curl up. Exhale, inhale. Beautiful work, folks. We are gonna pick up the pace on this one. First one was nice and controlled, nice and smooth the entire time. This time we're picking up that pace. Get ready. Three, two, one, a little bit faster. Right, left, right, left. Here's four. Three, two, even quicker. Let's go. Up, 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 up. Ten seconds. We've got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One and done, nice work. Set that band down. Third exercise. We've got a lunge with hammer curl. So we're gonna reverse lunge back just like we did in that first exercise today. Straight back, but as we come up, we're also doing a hammer curl. Palms face inward towards those thighs. Come down, curl up, here we go. out there that you get to start your homeschooling experience this morning. 
Good luck. Spencer's actually looking forward to it, I think. When he kind of looked over the assignments, he's like, I got this. So let's hope so. There have been a few days in the past few weeks, however, that the boy has not had an out of his onesie. So we'll see if he can't get him dressed, brush his teeth, and actually run over today. Last one. Nice work. Set those weights down. Ah, okay. Side plank with a bicep squeeze. So I'm gonna move this bunch off to the side. So side plank is simply working those obliques. The bicep squeeze, you are going to put that ball right on the bicep. As we're in plank position, you're going to squeeze that ball with your bicep. So it's a muscle contraction. Okay, 30 seconds on each side. This is where the pliable ball makes it a little bit easier. But we'll make it work. We're flexible, right? Here we go. Squeeze. 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 Trying to keep those hips lifted. If you need to bend that bottom knee, that's totally fine for a side plank. Just keep those little hips lifted. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Opposite side, place it right on that bicep. Give it a good squeeze. Stack it up. Here we go. Squeeze. 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 Hips lifted. Keep that contraction going. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Five. Four. Three. Two. One and done. Nice work. Release that down. Is that it? That was it. All right. Five steps. Palm up. Fingertips angle down so I can see the palm of your hand. Or I'm imagining. How about I'm seeing the palm of your hand? Gentle pressure. If you do not have any wrist issues, if you do have things like carpal tunnel, just point those toes down to the amount of your flexibility that's comfortable. Switch sides. All right, we've got shoulders, last major muscle group. All right. Overhead press. So grab a side of hand weights. This one's nothing fancy. Slight bend in those knees. Hand weights out of goal post. Press up high, come down to goal post. We're going to try to avoid relaxing all the way down. This is your break if you need it. Otherwise, hold it up. Get ready. Get set. Let's go. Press. Exhale up, inhale down. We are almost there, folks. Last major your muscle group here. Remember, take a break whenever you need it. Hit pause, go grab a sip of water, go use the restroom, let the dog out, whatever you need to do. Come on back. Once the gyms open up again, the instructors won't give you that option. <laughs> we don't really have an hour time block. Hang in there, 20 seconds to go. That would be pretty funny though. Everyone hit pause. Let's go use the restroom. Come on back. Three, two, one and done. Nice work. Relax those arms down. Second exercise. We have a frontal raise with that band. Standing on that band, we're going to do 
one arm at a time. That way you've got a little bit of extra leniency if you need it. Start with that right arm, over hand grip on that handle, lift up, here we go, lift, lift. Now notice my range of motion is a little bit smaller. But if I let my arm go all the way down, that band goes weak. We want to keep it tight. Lift up. Lift up. Exhale. Inhale. I really need to hold this. I can't see it. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Same thing. Overhand grip. Let's go. Lift. Lift. I'm going parallel to the floor, never above my head. We don't want to cause any sort of impingement. Exhale, inhale. Ten more seconds. I think the reason I can't see anything is because the, when I started this, it was so dark in the room that the flash came on. So I've got a light shining right in my eyes. Three, two, one, and done. So whenever I look away, I see spots. All right, posterior pulse. So for this one, I have the ball. What I was gonna do is squeeze that ball back behind with a little lift. What I'm gonna do since I have a medicine ball is hold that four pound medicine ball and lift it up behind me. If you do not have a ball, especially a weighted one, because it won't do too much with a non-weighted ball, go ahead and grab a set of hand weights. Improvise, make this yours. Hands behind the hips. Here we go, lift. 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 About halfway there. Hang in, hang in. Up, up, up. If you've got any sort of weight back there, it's usually about that 20 to 30 seconds in, you start to feel it, that muscle starts to warm up. Hang in there. Keep moving. 10 seconds. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. All right, final exercise. Squat with a one arm press, alternating side to side. So we're gonna have our hand weights once again. Last time we were out here, now we're gonna be at the shoulders. We squat down, right arm comes up. Squat down, left arm comes up. Choose your weight, we've got one minute. Get ready. Get set. Let's go. Here we go. Squat down. Final exercise, folks. Got a little bit of core. Then we stretch it out. And we go home school. I will try to put together that cycling class again today. I think what I'll do is just not play music. I'll allow you to have your own soundtrack at home and you can just have me in the background talking you through a workout. That way I don't have any infringement rules on music and you can still get a workout with me. We did it. That was it. Let's balance it out. Nice work. Set those weights down. I'm going to move my bench back to center here. Make sure 
it's in there nice and secure. Let's have a seat. Take one arm across the body. Bring that arm forward. Press that elbow back. Tricep stretch. Open up those arms. Lift through the chest. Take a deep breath up. Exhale down. Left arm comes across the body. Shoulder stretch. Bring that same arm forward. Press back at the elbow for another tricep stretch. Open up those arms. Take a deep breath up. Exhale down. My hands are going to go back behind my hips here. Right into a tuck and extend. Here we go. Tuck in. Extend. You can do this on the floor. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, three, two. Now take those knees right then left, right, left, right, left. Give me four more, here's four, three, two, one, feet down, give it a stretch up. We'll do one more set like that, then we'll stretch out the lower body, call it a day. If you want more core, go do one of those core workouts. 10 designated minutes. All right, here we go. Here we go, tuck it in, extend, tuck it in, extend. That was my girl that just walked in front of the camera. If you saw her, four, three, two, Knees go right and left. Here we go. Right, left, right, left. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Feet down, nice and tall. Get that back a stretch. While we're here, feet flat on the ground with only that right shoulder. Look over that left shoulder. Looking forward, extend those legs out. Hinge forward at the hips. Hamstring stretch. All right, let's stretch up those quads. We'll call it a day. Find your balance. Pull one leg back. Release that leg down. Switch sides. And release. You made it, folks. Happy Monday. Let's make this a great week. Weather's well, going to be great at least the first part of the week. It's a little bit rainy. Then you can turn on Netflix again and pop the popcorn. But for the beginning of the week, let's get outside, make ourselves feel good, stay healthy, stay safe. There's my girl. All right. See ya. Mwah.